The SDLP leader, John Hume, has again called for cross-party peace talks. John's morning. really dying for peace, like, isn't he? It's all he ever goes on about. I hope it works out for him. I, I sort of hope it works out for all of us there. Come on, girls. It's time to hit the road here. Have they roped you into going as well, son? Roped him? Hardly. He's riding Gary Barlow. I'm not. I, I just respect him as a songwriter, that's all. I did on James, so we do. Well, we need our passports, Jerry. For Belfast. I don't think so, love. Belfast? We're not about early, Daddy. It's a two-hour drive of traffic, love. This thing's in Belfast. But it's eight hours till the doors open. I know. We're cutting it fine. Thanks. Belfast? Sure, why don't you just sell away and send white slavery and be done with it? Jerry, I'll be with them, Dad. Well, that's worse. Should they hate his kind there? My kind? Pricks. That is enough. They're going to the concert, Dad. And that's the end of the matter. We finally panic at Belfast Zoo today when a polar bear escaped from its enclosure. The RUC have launched a widespread search and have warned residents in the local area to be extra... No, really, see, Sam? I grant that. Because an escape polar bear is going to track us down and kill us. As if Mommy's bothered by that. As if a polar bear's going to rock up and attack that concert. You wouldn't get a ticket for a start. They sold out months ago. You'd be surprised, guys. Aye, the own boys would get in where drafts wouldn't. Sure, the concert's nowhere near the zoo. But he's not in the zoo anymore, is he, Simple Simon? He's sauntering about Belfast without a care in the world. I keep up, Jerry. What I'm saying is that it would be quite a lot of ground for him to cover. They're cracking their feet when they want to be, love. Someone might give him a laugh. Who side are you on, Orla? Come on, Mary. If you don't let go, then our man's won't let us go. Well, neither the shoot. And I'd be ringing them to say as much. Oh, brilliant! Look. I hate my life. Look, girls, I know how much you were looking forward to seeing this and that. Take that. But there'll be other concerts. No, there won't. The fact that this one's happening is a miracle. Nobody good ever comes here because we keep killing each other. And now we're over only polar bears. Where will it end? Seriously! <sighs> right, listen, girls. I've never told anyone this before, but sometimes when Robbie's being interviewed, it's like he's sending me messages through the TV. You know, like telepathically or whatever. It's like he's saying, we're meant to be together. I maybe don't tell that to anyone again, Michelle. What's in the suitcase, Michelle? Vodka. You brought an entire suitcase full of vodka. No. There's mixers as well, not a savage. You can mix vodka with cider, right? Oh, God, I am boiling. Is it any wonder, Claire? What are you wearing? Yeah, you look like a fucking provo. Look, I don't want anyone recognizing me, OK? No one's going to recognize you, Claire. Claire Devlin, is that you? Jesus Christ. Relax, Claire. It's the weekend. She has no authority over us at the weekend. She has no right to question us. And if she tries to... I'll tell her as much. Morning, girls. Morning. 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 Sister Morning. Michael. What takes you to Belfast? I'm not really sure that... Speak up. I'm not really sure that that's any of your business. I'm going to assume that was an ill-judged attempt at humour, Miss Quinn. Yes. Now answer the question. We're going to the museum. Which museum? The Ulster Museum. What for? A project. A history project. What about? Ulster. God, I'm sweltered here. Then take it off. I can't take it off. I've nothing underneath it. What? Not even a bra. Jesus, Claire, you've no brown. Of course I've got a bra on. I haven't got a bra on. Can everyone please stop saying bra? But I can hardly parade around in just my bra, can I? I'm not Madonna. Isn't that the truth? What's she doing now? Reading her book. <laughs> now she's looking at the woman beside her. Now she's getting up. Now she's coming this way. Now she's standing right in front of us. What's she doing? Now she's... Stop talking, James. I want to sit here. What? What? Why? Well, you're just such wonderful company, girls. What with your stimulating conversation and razor-sharp wit. Really? No, not really. The woman next to me is eating an egg and onion sandwich. And the smell of it is enough to turn an orange march. Christ, but this is heavy. Sister, no, let me... What do you have in here, girls? It's not ours. Not yours? We have never seen it before in our lives, have we, girls? Never. 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 Excuse me, everyone. Can I have your attention, please? Does anyone own this red suitcase? No. Now, let me be clear. No one can claim this bag. Is that correct? Yes. I think we have a code red on our hands. Driver, pull over. 